Hello everybody, this is Jody Ann Johnson, people strategist and champion with the 94th episode of Coffee with Jody. And today it's a special episode because we're going to be talking about rescue dogs. And the month of August, which is actually called Dogust, August 1st being the universal birthday for shelter dogs. Picture this, a dog in a cage, and then rows and rows of dogs in cage and rooms of dogs in cages. And without anthropomorphizing an animal with human feelings, we can still imagine that they would have fear and maybe even sad sadness or despondency. Now imagine letting that dog out of that cage and watching them play or run or even cuddle up with you. Well, we've had this experience this last year, we adopted a rescue dog from Miami-Dade shelter and we named her Dulcie. Dulcie being the sweet one. And she is so that. This dog has brought more joy and more playfulness and more exercise <laughs> into our lives than we could have ever imagined. I wanna talk a little bit about rescue dogs. The dogs that end up in the shelters, they say that uh, animals go into the shelters about eight million a year. Half of them will not make it out alive. There's a billion dollars in taxpayer money that goes to picking up housing and euthanizing animals in shelters. That's a lot of money. Why do dogs end up in shelters? Well, what I can see and what I've read and what I've learned is that many dogs end up in shelters that are abandoned because the owners just absolutely can't take care of them. And why can't they take care of them? Most of the time it's because the dog hasn't been trained. And I think that this is a key piece for anyone who's looking at having a dog to build in to your planning for that animal that you're going to have time for training them. You can invest time in having a trainer train them or going into a group or even going on YouTube and learning to train or getting a booklet on how to train. There's a saying that whenever you're together with your dog, someone is always being trained. And I can tell you most of the time it's been me, although all of the time that I've invested in training her has paid back in better behavior. Another thing that happens is that animals that are not spayed mate because that's natural. So making sure that your dog is neutered or spayed is another important piece so that there's not litters of puppies all over that end up going into shelters if they don't find homes. So I started this off with saying that August is dogest <laughs> and that August 1st is the universal birthday for shelter dogs. As you know, we have no idea how old Dulcie is, we figure She's about two because she's very puppy-like still. And from the time we got her to now, about a year later, she's gained about 10 pounds. So I think she was still growing because she's still quite lean. All of this said to, it takes people being responsible for being a pet owner. So what do you need to know to be a pet owner? You need to know that it costs on average about $1,500 a year to have a dog give or take. It may go up to 2,000 depending on the size of your dog or what an uh, investment in taking them to the vet is in your neighborhood. The other thing is you need to train the dog. Bad behavior is a function of a lack of training. And the third thing is dogs need exercise and play to develop their intelligence. So make sure that you have time to play with your dog. We play with her in the evenings after dinner and walk her. So we're getting exercise, which is actually really good too. In order to help the shelters to deal with the number of animals that they have to take care of, you can donate money, you can donate time, or you can donate items. Items that your dog doesn't use anymore or just items that the shelter needs. With all of that, what I would recommend is Invest in getting a dog if you can, because it makes a difference for that dog. And personally, it makes a difference for us. I can tell you that when I come home from work 
and she's there to greet me, there's nothing like the joy of her at the door, you know, wagging her tail and jumping up and licking and, and just, you know, showing that unconditional love. A dog's attention is the closest thing that you will experience to God's unconditional love. As a matter of fact, dog is God spelled backwards. I'd love to hear about your experience with a dog, particularly if it's a rescue dog. And so please message me about that. I'll be sure to respond. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to find out more about how business coaching can support you in reaching your business goals and dreams, please click on the calendar link below and schedule a discovery call with me. Thank you for watching this video and happy dogist.